Hey everyone, I thought I'd show you a way how users could potentially override your web filtering policies using Google's web cache and how you can utilize Sophos UTM to prevent that from happening. So this is my home user license of Sophos UTM and I have a company-wide policy here and I'm gonna be really mean and turn on my block YouTube filter. It's very simple. You can see that all it's doing is blocking the YouTube website. So I'm gonna turn that on and let's see if it's working. Let's pretend I'm in the mood to watch some silly cat videos on youtube.com. Dope, I'm blocked. And the message says I've been blocked by a blacklist, so Sophos UTM's web filtering is working great. But here's a very simple trick you can try to get around web filtering policies. Simply go to google.com, type in cache, followed by a colon, and then enter the site you want to go to. In this case, youtube.com. And you can see I can now access the YouTube content as it's being retrieved from Google's web cache instead of youtube.com directly. The URL has changed to webcache.googleusercontent.com and my filtering policy is not blocking that domain. So let's see if we can watch a video. The video link opens a new URL to youtube.com and Sophos UTM blocks that. So let's copy the URL into the Google search box over here and paste that in with the cache directive. It actually takes me to the video page and I can in fact watch the video. It's not quite a silly cat video, but well, that's debatable. Anyway, now we know about this little hack, what's the best way to prevent people from using Google's web cache to access blocked sites? One thing you might like to try is Sophos UTM's application control to block the entire YouTube application. So let's try that. Let's go to application control rules, and here's one I prepared earlier to block the YouTube application. So let's turn that on and go back to YouTube. Okay. You can see that it's still being blocked by a blacklist as web filtering policies kick in before the application control. So let's go to the Google web cache. You can see that I can still get to the video page as Google's web cache is not considered the YouTube application. So let's see if I can watch a video. Okay, that URL is blocked again, so let's try it through the cache. I can get to the video page but when I play the video, it says that an error has occurred. This is Sophos UTM's application control kicking in and not letting me watch the video. So that works. But what if you don't want people to get to the video page at all? I think it's always better to present the block page where possible as it includes a useful description about why the content is blocked. Just like accessing the main youtube.com site currently does. Well, first of all, let's find out a little more about the traffic. I have FastV Sophos Reporter installed and it's monitoring my Sophos UTM. Here I've got the two IP addresses I use in this test installation and my top IP is going to googlevideo.com, which is in fact YouTube. I've also got my productivity and web protection dashboards, so I can see what proxy profiles and filter actions are kicking in, along with my top block events. But what I really want to do is run a detailed activity report on this IP address here. So let's go to reports and run an activity report on my source IP. You can run a report on anything that Sophos UTM logs as well as users and departments from Active Directory, but I just want to run it on my IP address right now. And I'm going to run it on today. And just to narrow the report down a bit, it's currently three o'clock, so I'm going to run this from 3 p.m. today. So let's select 1500 through to the end of today and click run report. All right, so here's all of my browsing from 3 p.m. today. So let's scroll down to where I started browsing YouTube at the beginning of this video. Here it is. And as you can see, most of the content, or pretty much all of the content to youtube.com was blocked. Then there are a few sites that came along for the ride, such as web ads and a Twitter sharing button and so on. But here are my hits to Google user content web cache. And you can see that all of it was allowed. But also what's interesting is that it's being classified as an anonymizing utility as well as a search engine. So that's something we can potentially hook into in Sophos UTM and just make sure anonymizing utilities are blocked and then people won't be able to get to Google's web cache at all. You can also see all the other hits further down the report such as the Google video streaming content. Uh, basically all YouTube videos are actually streamed from googlevideo.com. So that could be another domain that you may want to block. So now we know a little more about the traffic details, let's try blocking the anonymizing utilities category in Sophos UTM and see how that goes. So let's go back to the company-wide policy and edit the filter action and go to the categories page. 
Okay, now I can just block the anonymizers category, but it's important to note that it does not come as an option out of the box. You first need to create a category group for it. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Go to filtering options, categories, and you can see the anonymizers categories that I've created. The rest of these come out of the box, but I had to create the top one. So just click create new filter category, and then select the two categories, anonymizers and anonymizing utilities, give the filter category a name. I called mine anonymizers. And once saved, you can then select it from the web filtering policies interface we were in before. So let's go to web filtering profiles and into my company wide profile policies and edit the filter action. Here we can set the anonymizers category group to block. So let's save that. Now let's see what happens when we access YouTube. It's still blocked by my standard block list. So let's see if we can get to it via the Google web cache. And look at that. I can no longer access my silly cat videos via the Google web cache. And now says it's blocked by surf protection as anonymizing utilities are not allowed. So that's great because it's not just YouTube that you can access via the Google cache. You can in fact access any site. Google likes to cache the internet in its mission to organize the world's information. But as you've seen, it also gives your users a way to potentially bypass your web filtering policies. So now you know that Software CTM is categorizing the Google web cache as anonymizing utilities. I recommend blocking that category by creating an anonymizers category group and then using that in your web filtering profiles. And as you saw, finding out what is actually going on with your traffic is so much easier with FastView SoFast Reporter at your side. So I hope that helps and thanks very much for watching.